Hi, this is the Jennifer Valentine Miller Show with me, Jennifer Valentine Miller, wishing you well and hope that if you celebrated during this month, I just hope that went well too. So as per usual, I roamed around on Sunday and during the week to hear messages that are important, not only because it's the month of love, but it's a month to reach out and provide support. Firstly, I heard that the scriptures from Mark 5 were analysed as Jesus steps out into our hopelessness. He is with us, with you, right in the middle of it. We were all created to eventually live in a friendship with Christ. And sin or separation has messed everything up in this world. And the most hopeless situation is to be in a situation where there is no faith. So Christ is with us, empowering us and guiding us. We're all asked to hold on to the faith that has been given. In the demons in Mark 5, they all recognised the power that Jesus had, and they begged him to send them to the pigs, which had its consequences because this action ruined the farmer's crops. We must be persistent, hanging on to Jesus. Jesus is working in our situation and resolution, even when everything around us tells us that Jesus is not good. Sometimes his holding on to our faith comes with a cost, especially with our emotions. So we need to remind ourselves or be reminded of being sufficient in ourselves because Christ in us is living and it is again. Second, there was Romans 8, which tells us one way of being sufficient is by, by knowing how to pray. And God's prayer and our prayer to God is limitless. There are many who expect miracles every day. It is a miracle when you get filled with the Holy Spirit. You are a miracle if you have been saved from the powers of darkness into the light of hope for our future. Do not lose hope, is one of the headlines. Prayer guarantees fulfilment for those who love Jesus. They will glorify because of their patience and the hope in God, which is steadfast and sure. So what can increase faith but the word of God? The pastors want to see more miracles because they want according to Matthew 13, 8, see people set free. Roman 8 talks about God's limitless breach in prayer. For example, the feeding of the 5,000 and those demonic legions in Mark 5, 1 to 20, which cleansed away, which was eventually cleansed away from the man who was suffering. It is a miracle to pray in the Spirit. Jesus wants to work with my weaknesses and limitations. For those of us who might be ashamed of their income, which is limiting, or a smaller property, which is limiting their ministry. Christ looks at the individual and intercedes on their behalf by partnering with us, especially those who are called to his purpose. We were lost and now we are found. We were blind and now we see by walking in faith. Christ is aware of our, of our ignorance. Prayer is worship 
as well, and not just reserved for the musicians and singers. That is what makes the body, the temple of the Holy Spirit. God guarantees fulfillment for those who love him and for those who know it because they will glorify in it.